Stop it right there. Now, how did you determine that you were going to strike that source of blood from behind the <laughs> stairway? I wanted to see what it would do from that side. And why is that? Just simply as an observation. So you'd rather see it from that side than from the side you thought it happened from? Yes. I, and I noticed that... Can we go back for a second? Okay, let's just replay that again. Let's watch how high you go. I, I notice you go about that high, right? That amount of force? About that much. Can, can we play through? Like that. Right? Stop it. That's correct. You realize that when somebody's trying to beat somebody to death, they're generally speaking, they're not going like this, right, uh, sir? Generally speaking, somebody's trying to beat somebody to death, they're not going like that, right? That, that has nothing to do with these experiments. I was simply producing an impact spatter, something hitting a source of blood, producing a pattern on the wall so that I could go back and pull my strings. Sir, <clears throat> my question is, was your theory here that Michael Peterson was standing somewhere outside the stairway, leaning in, and doing swings like that? Yes or no? No. Okay. Let me ask you this. If somebody was hitting a source of blood right there and they brought it back, where would the cast off go? Again, there's many variables on, on, on that also. Uh, if the weapon were, were swung uh, in, uh, and not a full roundhouse swing, there probably wouldn't be a cast off. If the weapon had been cleaned in between swings, there wouldn't be a cast off. Uh, well, let me those types there. of things. In other words, <clears throat> if somebody was beating to some, somebody to death and they hit him once and then they took a towel and wiped down the weapon and then brought it back, then there wouldn't be cast off. Uh, that's correct. Gotcha.